the Hayastan All Armenian Fund is building a community center in the village of Metzchen, located in the Shushi district of Artsakh. The project is being carried out with donations raised in the Lebanese Armenian community, Armenia and Artsakh. A new building hasn't been erected in our village during the last 70 years. If you saw the buildings housing the local municipality and other agencies, you wouldn't say the mayor is exaggerating when making such a claim. This, for example, is the current mayor's office. The other used to be a hospital and now serves as a health clinic. We didn't have a local club. During the Soviet period, the church had been used as a club. We have asked the district authorities to build us a small gathering place for festive occasions. The two-story structure, with a space of 195 square meters, will house the mayor's office, the medical clinic, a library and a banquet hall. A room will also be set aside for the village children to learn various handicrafts. Our village used to have many residents. Their numbers decreased after the war. Today, the village has 114 residents who are mostly elderly. Young people are few in number. There are only 18 pupils in the school. We have enough teachers, that's all. The village mayor says that in the 1960s there were about 1,000 people living in the village. Many have left due to the lack of jobs and basic daily living conditions. They have left but have not forgotten their native village in its time of need. Our young people have mostly left for Armenia and Russia. But when war broke out, some 50 to 60 young men born in the village returned to defend it. It's this feeling of security and the love and devotion shown by Armenians in the diaspora that make Metzchen residents hopeful towards the future. These factors, in combination with projects designed to boost living standards, can only serve to ensure that the village will doubly develop, residents say. Our biggest thank you goes out to the Lebanese Armenian community who invested so much in this tiny village lost to the world. I wish our compatriots in Lebanon all the best. The only one of its kind in Artsakh, the Stepanaket Retirement Home, accommodates 100 seniors, many of whom have physical disabilities. In addition, it provides support services to some 150 seniors at their residences. The war forced us to open the home and care for seniors living alone. We have been operating here for 15 years. The place has never been renovated, neither the water system nor the living accommodations. The place needs a complete overhaul. The two wings of the Stepanaket retirement home, originally built for other purposes, were last upgraded in 1988. The building is old. Before the war, it served as a kindergarten. We didn't have the means to renovate it afterwards. Management and staff do their best to compensate for the lack of creature comforts, providing seniors with attentive care and treating them with utmost affection and respect. They never gave up hope that one day a benefactor would show up to resolve the problems faced by those entering their golden years. The showers and toilets are a real necessity for us, since you can't take bedridden seniors to a bathhouse. Once this issue is resolved, we will be able to maintain hygienic conditions for residents right in their rooms. In addition to contributing $300,000 toward Artsakh water infrastructure initiatives at the Moscow Charity Gala, Russian-Armenian benefactor Armen Shahazizyan has taken on the overall renovation of the Stepanaket retirement home. Yeah.
We are very grateful for the attentive care paid to these seniors. The words Argentine Armenian benefactor have always accompanied press releases regarding the work carried out by the All Armenian Fund in the village of Ditavan. For the past five years, Mr. and Mrs. Armen and Nadia Akterchan of Argentina have been closely linked to this border village in Tavush Mars, continuously donating funds to develop Ditavan's infrastructure. After financing construction of the village's community center, gas and water projects, the Ekterchan family have assumed the construction of a new school building. This building now being used dates to the 1950s. Only cosmetic repairs have been done to it over the years. The never renovated building can't even accommodate all the classes. To make classroom instruction on a one-shift basis, village and school administrators came up with a temporary solution 20 years ago. In the past, many pupils attended classes. There were two shifts. About 20 years ago, four ramshackle trailers were attached to the structure for additional instruction space, and classes became one shift. These trailers are extremely uncomfortable and vulnerable to the elements. They can neither be cooled nor heated. Principal Hachverdian believes such a situation wholly justifies the building of a new school. This building doesn't meet modern school standards. There are no showers and the wooden structure has rotted. The cosmetic repairs we make just aren't enough. Everything has been made to fit together somehow in this old building. The library has been squeezed into one of the classrooms and the library shares space with the computer room. The same with the science lab. Naturally, the school can't operate properly. Seeing firsthand the condition of the school, Mr. and Mrs. Armen and Nadia Akserchan decided to build a new one. Ditavan's future school will be a two-story structure designed to accommodate up to 60 students. It will have eight classrooms, a small gym and showers. Also included in the project is the provision of all necessary furnishings as well as computer and other equipment. We've met with the Exerchan family on numerous occasions and they have promised to finish the project. Even though Armenian is a rich language, I just can't find the words to express my thanks to them. It's simply amazing that they have contributed such large sums to assist us. It's no secret that water is the first important prerequisite for agricultural development. No wonder that the All Armenian Fund started to tackle this issue with its Davush Rural Development Initiative. With financial assistance from the Eau de Seine General Council, France, the Ijevan main canal and pumping station were completely renovated and new water pipes were installed for the region's villages. What remains is that you work even more on this land so that when we visit next time, we can take back the fruits of your labor. The work is up to you, but we stand together with you. The project focused on the irrigation systems in the villages of Eigerhovit and Vazashen. These two were completed with French assistance. The flow from the Achstev River was directed to the pumping station and then distributed to the fields and arable lands located in border communities. The All Armenian Fund has built an irrigation network in recent years. The water flows above my field. It's great for the villagers. Before, we were pilfering water from one another. Now, with the new pipes, there's enough for all. Having resolved the irrigation water issue, the next step was a project to develop the rural agriculture. Farm equipment stations were erected 
and new species of calves were given to farming enterprises. The new nursery created in Ditavan opened new horizons for the development of local horticulture. We took fig and persimmon seedlings and planted them. We obtained them a year ago with assistance from the fund. We are waiting to see how the crop will turn out next year. It's still too early for them to bear fruit. Everyone in the village received assistance, not just me or a select few. Everyone who expressed an interest in getting involved was included in the project. They now have 40, 80, even 100 trees. I had about 100 myself and increased the number to 200 with their help. It will pay off in the next few years. Some exotic species were also imported from countries with similar climes to that of Davush. Specialists believe that with constant care they will acclimatize to the new conditions. We will be experimenting with them for a few years at the nursery under the watchful eye of our specialists. I am certain that the project will be a success and that these species will become popular throughout the villages of Davush. David Abovian says that in addition to allocating saplings to individuals, there's a project to create gardens. There are lands that haven't been properly cultivated. Personally, I have the chance to expand my holdings, especially persimmon gardens. If I get other saplings, I'll plant them as well. Aknach Pyr Gardner, Vachik Harutsunyan, is pleased with the results and principles of the funds project created through French-Armenian collaboration. In my view, this is a great project that significantly assists the people. Today, you could have given 40,000 to 50,000 to someone to be eaten in one gulp. But a garden always grows and gets bigger. We will always remember the French and those who brought the saplings. It's a wonderful project. I don't know what others think, but this is my opinion. The Hand in Hand program is a unique monthly feature that showcases the projects and accomplishments of the All Armenia Fund. It allows Armenians the world over to see exactly how their contributions are being used for the benefit of the people of Armenia and Artsakh. Every contribution, whenever made, assists in the development of Armenia and Artsakh. Contributions can be made any time and at any hour. It is you who decides.